Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening, Manuel. Welcome to the class. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, in the name of English Corporativo, I'm giving you a big welcome to this class. This is pre-intermediate number three. This is the last module of the year. So in the name of um, English Corporativo, I'm giving you a big welcome. Welcome everybody. So let's see what we have for today. Let me check this out. There you go. Okay, let's see how many, how many participants do we have right now? We have nine participants. Alan, Beatriz, Godofredo, Manuel, Maynor, Nancy, Pablo, Santos, and Sergio. I see some some people that I know already. For example, let's see who Nancy, Godofredo. That's it. Only only, only two. Okay, um guys, let's wait a little bit because I want everybody to uh, to start with me. Okay, because I need some I need to give you some guidelines about that, this this module. This is the last module of the year. So you guys, thank you for joining. And I hope that you guys um, can learn a lot in this module, okay? We're going to, to have a lot of things to do. Okay, one left. See. Maybe they thought it was at 9 p.m., so it's 8 p.m. Okay, let me just share the PowerPoint presentation already. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna do it like this. Okie dokie. Wait, now I need to do something else. Here. Cool. What's going on? Okay, now we have 10 participants. Okay, so let's begin. Only 10 participants I have. Uh, supposedly, I have uh, 32, um, no, 33 students um, subscribed to this model. But let's hope they get they get online next. Okay, so welcome to the class, guys. Again, like I told you before, this class is possible because Inglés Corporativo is having this, um, this certifications online, okay? So in the name of Inglés Corporativo, I'm giving you the big welcome. Okay, let's begin. So as you can see, I already have my PowerPoint presentation over there and it's pre-intermediate three. So this is pre-intermediate three, okay? Online class section number one. And today we start with Wednesday, November 25th, 2020. 
Today is Wednesday, November 25th, 2020. Um, we're going to finish this module on, I guess it's in December 17th. On December 17th, we're going to finish. Um, well, actually I'm going to be giving you some indications, some, some instructions about the model, about when we are starting and when we are supposed to be finishing and how you're going to be working on the platform. Okay, so hopefully this time the platform is going to be good. Okay, so it seems like I have 15 participants. That's good. Everybody, welcome to your class. This is pre intermediate number three. And this is a class that is sponsored by Inglés Corporativo. Thanks to Inglés Corporativo, you're joining me to this class. Okay, very good. So let's move on. So, as I was telling you, so today is Wednesday, November 25th, and let's see what we are going to do right now. So we check this out. Okay, remember the rules of, of the class, uh, the virtual classroom, okay? Number one, remember that the, uh, the time uh, to get online or to get to log in to this class is 8 p.m., okay? No less, no more. Okay, so please log in on time. All, number two, turn on your cameras. Okay, remember that I need to see who is learning and who is not. And you need to show me that you are in front of your computer. If not, you're doing something else. Uh, number three, microphone, microphone off until your turn. So remember, if you already participated, turn off your microphone, okay? Um, next, number four, follow instructions. If you don't understand anything or you have any doubts, raise your hand and let me know, okay? So I can help you and I can repeat something. I can actually uh, repeat the instruction, okay? And last but not least is a speak up loud. Okay, when you are, when we are practicing, I need to listen to you and to see that, 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 that you are learning and that you're not making any mistakes. If you are making mistakes, then I'm going to help you and I'm going to correct you, okay? And that's it. Those are the rules of the classroom. So let's see what we have next. Ooh, and this is the unit, uh, this is the name of the unit. It's a very exciting place. It's a very exciting place. And what is the, um, this section is going to teach us? Let's see, achievement indicator. Successfully identify, discuss, and talk about describing cities, asking for and giving suggestions, talking about travel and tourism. Let me do it one more time. Successfully identify, discuss, and talk about describing cities, asking for and giving suggestions, talking about travel and tourism. Everybody read, please. Achievement indicator. Successfully identify, talk about describing cities, asking for giving suggestions, talking about travel and tourism. About travel and tourism. Tourism, tourism. 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 Good. So that's what we're going to be talking about in this section, section number one. So we're going to be talking about cities, describing them. Uh, also, we're going to be giving suggestions, like, for example, oh, you should visit the Tasumal, or you should go to Santa Ana, or you should go to Tunco Beach. So, so suggestions. And also, we're going to be talking about traveling. Um, where do you travel on the weekend? Oh, I travel to San Miguel, or I travel to La Union. I travel to Sonsonate and so on, okay? And tourism, tourism. Oh yeah, in, with tourism, we're going to be talking, uh, hey, where have you gone? I have gone to El Pital in La Palma, or I visit uh, the Chaparastique volcano. Uh, I visit some waterfalls and so on, okay? Cool, so that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, let's see how many I have. I have 17 participants, 17 participants. Good, that's good. Now, let's move on. Okay, everybody uh, who just is joining us, welcome to the class. Uh, this class is possible by 
eh, by English Corporativo. So English Corporativo is saying hello and welcome to intermediate number three. This is the last module of the year, guys. This is the last module of the year. So I hope you have fun and you learn a lot from this module, okay? So that's my, I'm hoping about it, okay? Um, any questions before we move on? Any questions before, before we continue? Anybody? Oh, I see some, some guys that I know. I know Josavet. Hello, Josavet. Hello, teacher. Hello, I see Nancy. Hello, Nancy. That's from my previous Hello, model. That's good. I see so, but I see some new faces. Let's see, I see who, Alan, Alan, he's new. Antonieta, she's new. Beatriz, she's new, I guess. Well, in my class, at least, in my class. And Luis Alberto is new, Manuel. Uh, Maynor is new, uh, but anyways, welcome guys, welcome everybody. Oh, I see Pablo Minero. Okay, and oh, I see this guy, Ulises. Hey, hello, Ulises, what's up? Hello, teacher. Uh, good, good. Nice to see you again, again. That's good, that's good. I see Veronica Lopez over there. Hey, Veronica. Yeah. Uh, she didn't listen. Maybe she's busy. Okay, so. Like I said, guys, welcome to the class. So let's go over some things very important. I need you to check this out and pay attention to this because it's very important and it's about the duration of this model and what we are going to be doing. Check it out. Good. Can everybody read this part, please? Can everybody read it? Me? Okay, Nancy, go. Eh, número uno, las fechas de ejecución son de miércoles 25 de noviembre a jueves 17 de diciembre. Pero sí habrá videoconferencias los viernes 27 de noviembre, re reponiendo el lunes de esa semana y el viernes 4 de diciembre, reponiendo ayer martes 24. Las plataformas deben estar arriba del 80% a más tardar antes de la medianoche del jueves 17 de diciembre. Por favor, les explican que dentro de la plataforma hay una fecha posterior de finalización, pero esa fecha aplica para los trámites administrativos que nosotros hacemos con el INSAFOR. Por ejemplo, verificar las notas finales de cada alumno para determinar si aprobaron o no. Y también es el periodo en que ISAFOR termina de hacer sus auditorías a las plataformas de los participantes. Esto para que no se nos vayan a confundir. Good. Thank you very much, Nancy. Um, so as you can see, this is um, one thing that uh, English Corporativo is going to do in order to close uh, the year, the elective year with ISAFOR. So we need to be finishing the platform so you have to work a lot in the platform so you need to be finished at um what was it at midnight on thursday december 17th thursday uh, december 17th so maybe take a note take a note of this because this is very important otherwise you're not going to get into account to the next level okay did everybody understand this part is very important, guys. Uh, yes, no? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, oh, I see Max. Hey, welcome, Max. What, what's going on? Hi, 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 teacher. I have a little problem with my phone. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry. We are. We, I was just giving some guidelines, you know, starting the class and everything. Uh, that's okay. Oh, yeah. I, I see Silvia, too. Silvia is from, from the previous model. Yeah, very good. Okay, teacher. Nice, nice. Okay, so moving on. Um, so this is very important. This, these dates are very important, okay? So please take into consideration working a lot in the platform, okay? Teacher. Yes, Flora. Eh, las no, clases, Nancy, Nancy. Yes. Eh, solo tres semanas serán de clases? Uh, wait, uh, if it is from the 25th, which is miércoles today, up to the 17th, oh, 
Wait, wait, wait. That would be five, 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 fifteen. No, it's twenty days. The same thing. Sixteen, six, sixteen sessions. It have to be sixteen sessions. Okay, teacher. Yes, yes. Thank that, you. That only thing is that uh, in this one we start on Wednesday. You know, and yes. in, in order to cover the whole week, we need to we need to work two extra Fridays after this one because we're working today tomorrow and friday and after that we need to work on um friday what, what, what uh, friday 4th december 4th right okay okay that's it so that would be december 4th yes yes that's that's, that's what it is okay so uh, that's the only thing, and then we, we continue like the whole week, okay? Okay, after uh, December 4th, we continue with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and you have and you have Friday free, okay? Okay, DJ. cool. Any other questions before we continue? Anybody, anybody? No. Okay, um, I sent a little introduction to the WhatsApp group uh, saying hello, and I hope to see you tonight at, in, the, in class, you know? So that, that was my little intro, intro. So like, if you already know me, you know that my name is Alcides Hernandez, but everyone, everyone, including you, can call me Tony. Everybody calls me Tony, so you can call me Tony, okay? Everybody, what is my name? Tony. Everybody? Tony. 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 <laughs> cool. That, that's my name. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Tony. Very nice. Very nice. Cool. So let's start. Tony. Very good. Very good. I hear you. I hear you. Okay, guys. Um, one thing that the guru. I did, there you go. The English. The English guru, please. <laughs> that's my nickname. Okay, um, one thing that I might I, I want to make sure before we start is that whenever possible, I listen to you. And if you're making a mistake, if, if you're saying something wrong, I'm going to correct you on the spot. Like I hear you, I'm going to say, no, please do this or say this, you know. Please don't feel bad or feel like I'm I'm putting you on the spot because it's not my deal. Okay. Um si los corrijo. En un momento terminado, cuando cometan un error, no se me pongan mal, no, me, no se me sientan mal. Quiero que hagan las cosas súper bien, ¿ok? ¿Todos entendimos eso? Ok. Yes, yes. teacher. Cool. Yes, teacher. Cool. Ok. All right, cool. Ok, so let's begin. Tenemos un montón que hacer. So we have a lot to do, so we need to start right away. Here we go. Ok, and we have... 1.0, 1.0, achievement indicator. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a city where adverbs before adjectives are used. One more time, listen. 1.0, achievement indicator. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a city where adverbs before adjectives are used. Everybody? 1.0 achievement indicator in this session for listen to a conversation for adjectives are used. Adjectives are used. Good. Guys, remember that I'm watching the computer. The, the computer is telling me who is repeating and who is not. Please, you need to repeat in order to exercise your English. So I need to see your microphone going red 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 okay please because that's the only uh, that's the only uh, way we can practice okay please follow instructions okay everybody not only one two three four not only four people can be repeating everybody has to repeat please okay so let's move on so let's see what what is this all about and remember this is the first activity that you need to do in the platform in the platform. That's why it's 1.1, forum or discussion. Number one, so where are you from, Tony? So where are you from, Tony? Where are you from, Tony? Everybody? 
So, where are you where from, are you Tony? From, Tony? Where are you from, Tony? So, where are you from? Uh, where are you from, Tony? Tony? Where are you from, Tony? Good, good. Guys, pay attention and be ready to do these things, okay? Because you're taking too long. Uh, remember, time is precious. We only have one hour. I wish we could have more, but we only have one hour to practice, okay? One more time. So, where are you from, Tony? Everybody. So, so, so where, where, are where are you, you from, from, Tony? Tony? Where are you from, Tony? From Tony? Okay, good. Uh, I'm from San Miguel, Barrio La Merced, two blocks down from the Charlet Stadium. Listen, I'm from San Miguel, Barrio La Merced, two blocks down from the Charlet Stadium. Everybody. I'm, I'm from, from San, San Miguel, Miguel, Barrio La Merced, two blocks down from the Charlet Stadium. Down on Charlet Stadium. Two blocks down from the Charlet Stadium. Two blocks down. Two blocks down. Two blocks down from the Charlet Stadium. Two blocks down from the Charlet Stadium. Charlet Stadium. Very good. I have heard that's really nice city. Is it true? Listen one more time. I have heard that's a really nice city. Is it true? Everybody. I have a nice city. Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Yes, it is. The weather is always hot, but there are some fishes just outside the city. For example, Playa El Cuco. Everybody? Yes, it yes, is. It the is. weather the is weather always, is always hot, hot, but there but are there some are great some dishes just inside, inside the city. Inside. For example, Playa El Coco. For example, Playa El Coco. Okay, one more time. Yes, it is. The weather is always hot, but there are some great dishes just outside the city. For example, Playa El Coco. Everybody? Yes, yes, it is. is. The, the water, water is always hot, 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 but there are some great, great dishes out just, just outside the, the city. city. Example, for example, Playa El Cuco. For example, Playa El Cuco. Very good, very good. Nice, nice. I see that most of you are, are, are working. I like that. But I, I have like three or four that are not doing anything. Please, please get, get into the motion and start practicing, please. Okay. Let's go. Is it expensive to live there? Is it expensive to live there? Everybody. Is, is it expensive to live there? 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 No, it's not very expensive. Prices are kind of low. You can rent a house with just $75. Everybody? No, no, it is no, not very expensive. It's a kind of love. In a house with just $76. Listen one more time. No, it's not very expensive. Prices are kind of low. You can rent a house with just $75. Everybody. No, no, it is it's not it's very not expensive. It's a kind of love. love. You can love. rent a house, can rent a house with just seventy-five dollars. Seventy-five dollars. Good. Seventy-five dollars. How big is the city? How big oh. is the city? Everybody. How, How big, big is, is the city? city? How big is the city? It's How not that city? big, but it's not too small either. It is five hundred ninety-four kilometers square. Everybody. It's not, it's not that not big, that but big. it's not too it's small not either. It's, it is, is 509 kilometers square. 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 Okay, listen one more time. It is not that big, but it's not too small either. It is 594 kilometers square. Everybody. It's not, it's that, not big, that big, but it's, but it's not, not too, too small either. either. It, it is 594 five kilometers kilometer square. square. 594 kilometers a square. 594 kilometers a square. Everybody. 594 kilometers square. Kilometers, kilometers. 
Okay, so this is the first slide, the first practice that we're going to have. So do you have any questions about it? Any questions? Questions? No questions. Cool. Okay. Take a screenshot because you're going to practice. A screenshot, please. Good. Everybody has the screenshot? Yeah. I got it. Okay. Yes, good. yes I got mm -hmm. it. Good. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, let's move on and let's see what we have next. This is the first that you're going to practice. We're going to practice three in a row. Okay. This is the first one. Let's go. Okay. 1.2 achievement indicator. In this class, participants will learn the usage of adverbs before adjectives. Everybody? 1.2 1.2 achievement indicator in this class participants will learn the usage of adverbs for adjectives okay so that's what we're going to be doing so we're going to check how adverbs are used before adjectives let's let's see let's see what it is very important 1.3 forum discussion 1.3 do you know which city is extremely hot? Do you know which city is extremely hot? Everybody. Do you know, know which city, city is extremely, extremely hot? hot? Do you know which city is extremely hot? Do you know which city is extremely hot? Do you know which city is extremely hot? I think San Miguel is extremely hot. Now it is 82 degrees Fahrenheit. I think San Miguel is extremely hot. It is 82 degrees Fahrenheit. I think San Miguel is extremely hot. Now it is 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Everybody. I, I, I think, think San Miguel is extremely hot. hot. Now, now it's 82 degrees Fahrenheit. 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 Very good. Where do you think is very expensive to live? Where do you think is very expensive to live? Everybody. Where do you think is very expensive to live? Expensive to live. Where do you think is very expensive to live? Everybody. Where do you think is very expensive to live? Okay. I think Colonia Escalon is too expensive to live in. Renting a house there can cost you up to $4,885. One more time. Listen, listen. I think Colonia Escalon is too expensive to live in. Renting a house there can cost you up to $4,885. Everybody. I think Colonia Escalon is too expensive to live it in. Renting a house there can cost you up to $4,885. Okay, one more time. I think Colonia Escalon is too expensive to live in. Renting a house there can cost you up to $4,885. Everybody. I think Colonia Escalon is too expensive to live in. Renting a house that can cost you up to $4,885. Good. Wait, wait, wait. Where, where, where am I here? What is something you find extremely expensive? 
What is something you find extremely expensive? Everybody. What, what is, is something, something you find extremely expensive? Find extremely expensive. Find extremely expensive. Extremely expensive. Okay, one more time. What is something you find extremely expensive? What is, what is something, you find? something you find extremely expensive? I guess iPhones are extremely expensive. The iPhone 11 cost $1,099. One more time, listen. I guess iPhones are extremely expensive. The iPhone 11 cost $1,099. Everybody. I guess, I guess, I guess iPhone, iPhone are extremely expensive. The iPhone 11 cost $199. No one knows. No, it's not 100 It's $1,099. $1,099. Everybody. $1,099. dollars $1,099. One thousand ninety nine dollars. One thousand ninety nine dollars. Guys, for a moment you made me happy. You say one hundred ninety nine. One hundred ninety nine. I buy me five iPhones. Come on. Estaban diciendo ciento noventa nueve. Así me compro diez. So be careful. One thousand ninety nine dollars. Okay. Black Friday. Yeah. Not even. Not even. Okay. Not even. Not even. Okay, next, let's go. What do you think about Little Caesar's Pizza? What, what do you think about Little Caesar's Pizza? 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 About Little Caesar's Pizza. I would say that I find Little Caesar's Pizza fairly good. You get a pizza for only five dollars. Everybody. I will, I will say that say I that find that Little Caesar Pizza really good. You get a pizza for only five dollars. Pizza for only five dollars. I would say that I find Little Caesar Pizza fairly good. You get a pizza for only five dollars. I will say that I find Little Caesar Pizza fairly good. You get a pizza for only five dollars. Good. Okay. Now, in this second slide, do you have any questions, any doubt? Do you have any doubt here? Questions? No question. No question. Okay. No question. No question. Okay, please, guys, please. If you have by any chance little doubt or you have one question, let me know. We can, we can clear it up here, okay? I don't want you to go after class think, oh, what, what was that? Tienen una preguntita, por muy pequeña que sea, háganmela. Aquí lo aclaramos todo antes de terminar la clase, ¿ok? No quiero que se vayan después de clase con dudas o alguna pregunta, ¿ok? Please. Ok. okay. Cool, cool. Ok. Remember, I'm here, I'm here for you. I'm here for you. Yo estoy aquí para ustedes. So, let me know, please. Ok. Ok, Tony. Thank you, teacher. Ok, thank you. All right, let's move on. So let's go for the next thing we have. Remember, this is in the platform. This is the second homework you need to do in the platform. Okay? Oh, and we have a grammar. Tenemos una gramática. Eh, la gramática son adverbs before adjectives. Por eso tuvimos este, esta práctica. That's why we had this practice, okay? So let's see what, what, what we have here. Oh, but before, before going to, to, to the grammar, I want you to, to go and practice this. Let's go practice the first two slides. Vamos a practicar las primeras dos um, slides. Let me see here. Okay, guys, remember, uh, the most important thing here is to listen to your classmate and make corrections. Escuchen a su compañero y si cometen un error, corríjanlo, porfa. I'm going to be through the, through, the, through the things so I can check it out for just a little bit. Okay, here we go. Do how many students? Yeah, there you go. Okay, go to your rooms and start practicing, please. The two slides. Go to your rooms and start practicing. Here we go, here we go. Cool, cool. Get together and start practicing.
Hello. Okay. Start practicing, guys. Start practicing. We can practice. Can you share the first the slide, please? Because I'm in later in the class. Le voy a compartir las capturas. Okay. Thank sure. you very much. Thank you. Ulises, so where are you from, Tony? I'm from San Miguel, Barrio La Merced, two blocks down from the Charlotte Stadium. Okay. Uh, Sosa, I have heard that's a really nice city. Is it true? Yeah. Yes, it is. The weather is always hot, but there are some great beaches just outside the city. For example, Playa El Cuco. Elena, it is expensive, expensive to live there. No, no, no. Is it expensive to live there? Is it expensive to live there? No, it is not very expensive. Prices are kind of low. You can rent a house with, a, with just uh, $75. Nancy, how big is the city? It's not that big, but it's not too small. Either it is five, 594 kilometers square. So Sam, so where are you where are you from, Tony? I am, I am from San Miguel, Barrio La Merced, to blood down from the Charley Stadium. Uh, Ulises, I have heard that that is a really nice city. Is it true? Is it, is it true? Yes, it is. The weather is always hot, but there are some great beaches just outside the city. For example, Playa Cuco. Elena. Disculpe, ¿cuál es el nombre de la otra compañera? Elena. Elena, Elena. Elena, it is expensive to live there. Is it? Is it expensive? Is it expensive to live there? No, it's not very expensive. Price are kind prices, of love. Prices. Prices are kind of love. You can rent a house with uh, with just seventy five dollars. Okay. Um, so, sir, how big is the city? It is not that big, but it's, but it's not too small either. It is, 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 in that one is it is, ah, it is, it is 500, 94 kilometer, uh, squares. 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 Sosa, Sosa, one thing, Sosa. Um, okay. uh, we were, you were, uh, you were listening to the broadcast, but it was too loud. Please look for a space where you can have the, the class, but not in the living room because we were listening to Bukele there, man. Uh, please, okay, next time, please look for somewhere to go. Okay, no problem. <laughs> All right. Okay, go, continue. Oh, do that second slide. Do that second slide, guys. Okay. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Elena. Nancy. Nancy. Okay. Do you know which city is extremely hot? Extremely. Extremely. Do you know which city is, is extremely hot? I think San Miguel is extremely hot. Now it, it is 82 Foreign height. No, no, A 82, 82 degrees. 82 degrees. 82 degrees. Okay, 82 degrees. Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit degrees. No, no, no. 82 degrees, degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Yes. El cero es el degree y la F es Fahrenheit. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Elena, where do you think is very expensive to live? I think Colonia Escalón is too expensive. Kilometer score. Okay, next. Okay. I'm going to start uh, the question. So, where are you from, Tony? I'm from San Miguel, Barrio La Merced, two blocks down from the Charley Stadium. I have heard that a really nice city. Is it true? Yes, it is. The weather is always hot. <laughs> the weather, the weather. The, the weather. It's always hot, but there are some great beaches just outside the city. For example, Playa El Cuco. Is it expensive to live there? No, it's not very expensive. Price are prices, prices, prices are kind of low. Mm. You can are kind, are kind of low. I can, I, I can kind of low. low. Okay, you can rent. The house with use uh, 579 dollars. 75, 75 dollars. 75 dollars. How big is the city? It's not that big, but it's not too small either. It is uh, 594 kilometers uh, square. Ok, hoy Mayro, Mayro que me pregunte y yo contesto. Ok. Ok. San Miguel is extremely hot. No, no, it is. Extremely, extremely hot, extremely hot. Hello. Hola. Okay. ¿A quién le pregunta? Guys. No, es que es que vaya, este 82, 82 Fairy Hands, ¿es verdad? ¿Cómo es la pronunciación? Es que Reis, no hay 82 de Reis, teacher. No, no, 82 degrees Fahrenheit. 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Degrees Fahrenheit. 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, degrees Fahrenheit. Guys, why are you sharing the, the screenshot? Por eso les digo que tomen el screenshot. Tienen que... Eh, Share, share, compartirla here. Okay. You taking too much, too much time you take, guys. Waste it, waste it. Okay. Veronica, where do you think it's very expensive to live? Too expensive to lay a rating house. That Hi, teacher. Hello. How do you say me salí del grupo? I got out. I got out of yeah, the group. I got out. I got, group. I got out. Because it's simple, it's simple past. Me salí. I got out. 
I got, oh, yes. yes. So if you say me salí, that's simple past. So it's I got out. Pero si dice en presente simple, yo me salgo, I get out. I get out. Y si quiere decir en futuro simple, me voy a salir, I'm going to get out. Ah, okay. okay. Pero también si, si quiere decir en presente continuo, me estoy saliendo, I'm getting out. I'm getting out. Luego, si quiere decir en, en presente perfecto, yo me he salido. I have gotten out. I have gotten out. I have gotten, got it. Y si quiere utilizar el pasado continuo diciendo, eh, yo, es, yo me estaba saliendo. I was getting out. I was getting out. See, that's how you practice the six tenses. That's how you practice the six tenses, guys. Okay? Cool. Uh, let me see how many students we have. I have 20, very good. So guys, listen, remember that uh, this class is possible because of English Corporativo. So English Corporativo is giving you the big welcome to this. This is the last module of the year. This is the last class we're going to teach in the year. So maybe next year we're going to start, um, I don't know, the second week of January. God willing, Dios mediante, God willing. So that's going to be in the second week of January next year, okay? So, but this is the last. We're going to finish the 17th of December. Okay, so, I like, you already know what, what to do, but just in case, um, I'm going to show you one more time what is it that, that, that we need from you. So, let me just show it to you. Let me show it. Because so many of you came late. Para los que vinieron tarde, check it out. Like a max. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. I wasn't saying any names. I wasn't saying any names. Okay. Pachita está el agua, eh? No, because it's true. I'm late in the class. <laughs> okay, so check this out. Okay. Um, Max, can you read this part, please? Okay. Last, la, en español, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, número uno. Las fechas de ejecución son de miércoles 25 de noviembre a jueves 17 de diciembre, pero sí habrá videoconferencia los viernes 27 de noviembre, reponiendo el lunes de esta semana y el viernes 4 de diciembre, reponiendo ayer martes 24. Número 2. Las plataformas deben estar arriba del 80% a más tardar antes de la medianoche del jueves 17 de diciembre. Por favor, les explican que dentro de la plataforma hay una fecha posterior de finalización, pero esa fecha aplica para los trámites administrativos que nosotros hacemos con el INSAFOR. Por ejemplo, verificar las notas finales de cada alumno para determinar si aprobaron o no, y también es el periodo en el que INSAFOR termina de hacer sus auditorías en las plataformas de los participantes. Esto es para que no se vayan a confundir. Very good. Thank you very much, Max. Okay, that was it, information. Okay, um, did everybody understand the part? ¿Todos entendimos esa parte? Please say yes. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes teacher. <laughs> yes, teacher. A, a little pressure, a little pressure, eh? Yes. <laughs> okay, so please um, remember that everything is done and so you have to be working on the platform in order that even before the 17 you have 80 percent si pueden lograr tener 80 percent todavía antes del 17 de diciembre sería buenísimo buenísimo y estaríamos asegurando su puesto para el siguiente módulo si ¿Sí me entienden ok yeah. nice. yes. I understood. Good, yes, sir. Good. So that's very, very important. Okay, another thing that I checked out in this little um, exercise that we have right now is that you guys are not turning your cameras on. It is very important to work with your cameras. I need to see that you guys are learning. Uh, remember that uh, uh, body, body, what is it called uh, in English is uh, body emotions? No, wait, wait, wait. Oh, body gestures. In Spanish is, uh, um, corporal, uh, like in Spanish, 
Eh, lenguaje corporal. Lenguaje corporal. Lenguaje corporal. That's in Spanish. El lenguaje corporal me hace saber si usted está, ah, o oh, yes, yes. O sea, si me, me, me dice si está entendiendo o si está, oh, what, what, está perdido. Okay? So, en el, entonces yo ahí puedo entrar y digo, ok, I need to tell somebody. Yo necesito ayudarle y explicarle más, ok. Eso me deja saber a mí quién está bien y quién está mal. Y ahí entro a ayudar, ¿ok? ¿Entendimos? Okay. Cool. Yes. Ok. Yes. Nice. Very good, very good. Ok. Um, so, like I was saying, um, I was giving an example because you guys are pre-intermediate three. Ok. This, my old students with previous models like Max, like Nancy, like Josabeth, like Michelle, oh, I see Michelle, um, like Silvia, and, and Godofredo, <laughs> and Veronica, and Flor, I guess. Flor, Flor, have you been my, my student already? No, Flor, no, oye. See, see, that, see what, that's <laughs> what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hi, Flor, teacher. Hello. Uh, Flor, have you been my student in the previous module? Mm. ¿Has sido mi estudiante en, en los módulos anteriores? No. Oh, ok, no, she's yo... new. Ah, pues tuvimos otra flor. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Ah, my bad, de, my de bad. las, de las, ya. Yeah. Oh, de las. There you go, Flor. You're, ah, putting yeah. me, you're putting me on the spot. Me está dejando en evidencia, Flor. <laughs> no. <laughs> sí, poner, poner a alguien en evidencia, put on the spot. So, Flor is putting me on the spot. Me está poniendo en evidencia. Ok, guys. So, like I was telling um, the rest from, from the previous module, here, you guys need to master six tenses. Tienen que manejar bien al 100% seis um, tenses. In Spanish is um, tiempos. Seis tiempos. Ok. Present continuous. Simple future. Simple past. Simple present. Present perfect. And past continuous. Good. Estábamos haciendo un pequeño ejercicio con alguien que dijo, me salí. O, oh, si digo me salí en pasado simple, que sería el tercero, en pasado simple sería, I got out. I got out. I got out. Me salí. Let's do this little thing here with the six tenses. Okay? Remember, I go with the easiest to the hardest. Me gusta ir desde el más fácil hasta el más difícil. Okay? Para que así sigamos una como una... Like a scale, como una escala, ¿ok? So, let's go with present continuous. Present continuous, ¿cómo sería me, me estoy saliendo? I'm getting out. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. Good. So, I'm, I'm getting, getting out. out. Yes, that's it. I'm getting out. Good. ¿Cómo sería en futuro simple me voy a salir? I'm going to get I'm going to get out. I'm going, I'm going to, get, to out. get out. Very good. I'm going to get out. Todos. I'm, I'm going, going, to, going to, to get out. out. Hey, hey, pero no se me salgan ahorita, okay? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, I'm going to get out. So, simple past. I'm, me salí. Got out. I, I got, got out. out. I got, I got out. out. I get out. No, I no got get. Got. G-O-T, G-O-T, got. I got out. I got out. I got out. Todos, I got out. 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 Let's go with number four, which is simple present. Simple present. I get up. I get out. I get up. I get out. I get out. I get out. I get out. ¿Qué sería en español? Me salgo. Me salgo. Yo me, me salgo, yo me salgo. I get out. G-E-T. I get out. ¿Todos? I get out. 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 Let's go with number five. Number five. The present perfect. Yo me he salido. Yo me he salido. I have gotten out. I have gotten out. I have gotten out. I have gotten out. Todos. I have gotten out. I have gotten out. I have gotten out. I have gotten out. And past continuous. Yo me estaba saliendo. 
Yo me estaba... I was getting out. I was getting out. I was getting out. out. I was getting out. Getting out. Getting out. Very good. Okay, that's good. So, you see? Six tenses. Now, let's remember something because it's... Um, see, see what I mean? Very short time. Very short time. Muy poquito tiempo. So, I need more time with you guys. But, yeah, this is it. So, let's do something. Um, let's talk about the six tenses. And what is the general question for each tenses? Cada tiempo tiene su pregunta general y es súper diferente a todas. So what, what is the general question for each? Present continuous, general question. What, what are you doing? doing? Thank you. What are you what are doing? You, what are you doing? Todos, what are you doing? What, what are, you, are you, doing? you doing? Repeat, please. What repeat. are you doing? What 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 are you doing? Good. Entonces... Si como el ejemplo que tenemos es de salirnos, ¿cuál sería la respuesta si le pregunto a alguien, what are you doing? I am getting out. I'm 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 getting out. Very good, very good. Good. So that's, that's present continuous. Let's go for simple future. Simple future. What is the general question for simple future? What, what are you going to do? What are you going to very good. Very good. get out? What are you going to do? What are you going to do, everybody? What are you going to do? 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 Sí. So, ¿qué sería? ¿Qué vas a hacer? So, what is the answer to this? Con, con, con el ejemplo. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get out. 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 Simple pass. What is the general question for the simple pass? What did you do? What did you do? What did you do in Spanish? What did you do? What did you do? Okay, okay, sister. 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 Very good. So what is the answer with the example? What is the answer? I got out. 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 Algunos me están diciendo get. Es G-O-T. Got. I got out. 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 Okay, so simple present, uh, general question, simple present. What do you do? 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 And what is the answer? I get out. I get, I, get I, get I get out. 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 Yo me salgo. I get out. I get out. Very good. Very good. Out. Let's go to present perfect. What is the general question for the present perfect? What have, what have you done? done? What have you done? Very good. What have what you done? Have you done? What 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 have you done? What, what have you done? done? Well, what is that in Spanish? ¿Qué has hecho? ¿Qué has hecho? ¿Qué has hecho? ¿Qué has hecho? What have you done? Otra vez. What, what have, you, have, have you, done? you done? You done. Okay. And what is what the answer with the, with the example? What is the answer with the example? I, I have gotten out. out. I have gotten out. out. I have gotten out. I have gotten out. Todos. I, I, I have gotten out. out. I have gotten out. I have got it 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 out. Very good, very good. Let's go with the last one, which is uh, past continuous. Past continuous. What is the general question for the past continuous? What were you doing? 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 What were, what were you doing? Wait, 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 listen, listen, listen very careful. 
What were you doing? 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 Okay, and what is that in Spanish? ¿Qué estabas haciendo? ¿Qué estabas haciendo? ¿Qué estabas haciendo? ¿Qué estabas haciendo? Okay. So, what, what would be the answer with the, with, with the example? I was, I was getting, getting out. out. I, I was getting out. out. I was getting out. I was getting out. Todos. I was getting out. 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 Okay, everybody just listen and turn off your turn off your microphones. Turn off your microphone, please. Okay, uh, I'm going to practice with Max. Listen to me and Max. Listen to me and Max. Max, we're going to practice the six tenses, only the the um the general question, okay? With the example get out. Okay. So number one, Max, what are you doing? I'm getting out. Number two. Max, what are you going to do? I'm going to getting out. Mm -mm, no. I am going to getting out. No. I'm going to get out. I'm going, I'm to, going get, to get out. Getting Sorry. solo es para... para, para, uh, para, uh, para okay. 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 I'm uh, going to get out. Good. Okay. Uh, number three, simple pass. Uh, what oh. did you do, Max? I got out. I got out. Got out. I got out. Got out. Okay. What do you do? Simple present. What do you do? I get out. I get out. Very good. Uh, present perfect. What have you done? I have got out. Gotten. Gotten out. Got I out. have gotten out. I have in, gotten out. In number six, what were you doing, Max? I was get, get out. Getting, getting out. out. Getting out. Okay, Max, oh, you need to freshen up right there. Okay, let me see. Okay. So guys, do you see what I did is we take only one verb and we practice in the six tenses, okay? So this little practice, we're going to be doing it uh, throughout the module because you need to practice the six tenses with WH questions. Right now, what I did is I was using only the general question, but there are more information questions that you can use with all tenses. But don't worry, I'm going to provide that and we're going to practice more. How, uh, what do you think about this, this little intro to the six tenses? And I'm talking to the new guys. For example, I'm talking to Beatriz, I'm talking to Elena, I'm talking to Sergio, I'm talking to Manuel, I'm talking to Maynor, I'm talking to Pablo, I'm talking to Santos, Alan, and Eduardo, I guess. Yeah, Eduardo is new. So to the new guys, how, what do you think about doing this little practice with the six tenses? ¿Qué les parece hacer estas prácticas con los seis tiempos con un verbo determinado? ¿Qué les parece? Very good. Very good, teacher. Very good. Very good, Very good. I can. The personal, I, I, for for me, it's more difficult. They use the verbs, and I think that this practice is very good for me. Good. So that that one we're going to be doing it. I'm gonna try to do it one little bit every day, every day. Because remember, we have a lot to do. Mostly in the first week, we need to cover uh, two sections, section one and section two, and section three. So it's a lot. So, but don't worry, uh, we're going to manage, okay? So, you sure? uh, yes, Alan? Can I, can I uh, please uh, uh, pedirle algo? Uh, can I ask you something? Ask, 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 ask you something? The, yes. the, the sentences have, like we talk right now, we, you can write, write? Only practice. Write those? Practice, practice, practice. Remember that my motto is like repetition makes perfection. It's the same in Spanish. La práctica hace el maestro. So what we need is to practice, practice, practice. Wait, understand it first, understand it first, and then practice it. Tenemos que entenderlo primero, 
y después practicarlo. Okay, so we're going to go to that. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Cool. Okay, guys, it was nice seeing okay. you okay. in the class. I hope to see you tomorrow early, and, and we continue tomorrow with this. Okay. For right now, have a good night. Sleep like a baby, and have sweet <laughs> dreams. Okay. <laughs> okay. Have a nice night. Have a good Thank night. You. I'll see you tomorrow, good guys. Night, nice see see you tomorrow. Good, good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.